So I know all of you have been freaking out about this whole Facebook domain verification thing, but it's actually incredibly easy. If you checked out any of my last videos, you remember I might have mentioned, well, I did mention that I wasn't sure what these landing page companies were gonna be doing. And my only current solution was to essentially get my own domain, put my own landing page on it, and make things work that way. But recently there's been some developments and I'm gonna share one current solution that works and some upcoming solutions. So first of all, I'm gonna to link to a video in the description, I guess I'll throw it there. Uh, Toneden, currently on their free plan, supports having uh, custom domains added. You can verify that domain and then everything will work. So I'm gonna walk through that, but I wanna point out that I talked to uh, John Gold from Hyped It. They're gonna be adding this functionality to their um, their paid plan, which is the, the one you have to use to use in Facebook as anyways by the end of the month. And I did talk to uh, DistroKid, they're gonna be adding this functionality to HyperFollow as well. And Feature FM, while I didn't talk to them directly, they mentioned on their website that um, they would be supporting this too. So it seems like what's gonna happen is every company that does this stuff is gonna have an option. And pretty much it's gonna be the same as normal, you just gotta figure out how to do this stuff. So I did set things up with Toneden. Um, and by the way, this is the scary message you've probably all been seeing. Remember for now, you don't have to do anything. Like if you wanted to, you could wait a couple more weeks and just keep running your ads and it'll be fine. Um, but you you will have to resolve this probably in about a month or so. So uh, this is the other scary message you've probably seen. My dog decided he wanted to interrupt. All right, so if we head over to Tone Den, I'm just gonna refresh this page here. What we need to do to go and set up the stuff is we need to click on settings up in Tone Den, and then we need to go to advertising. And then down here, we can connect our domain. You'll see I already have a domain set up. Um, it literally takes a few minutes. So what you're gonna wanna do, okay, you can go back down. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on add domain. You're just gonna type in a subdomain. You could do something like music. just for example, your website.com. What I did is I did TD so that I know that this is toned in and then I can make a future subdomain for hyped it and whatever the landing pages I'm using. And then we just click next. I'm, I'll make this music just so you can see what happens. Then it's gonna give you some instructions. And what you're gonna need is this thing that says music and this thing that says fan link dot two. And this is the next step of this process. I'm gonna click, uh, go to my domain registration site. I use domain.com. I like it a lot. Um, but then again, I haven't used too many other things, but uh, the way you do it through domain.com, and this will be incredibly similar for any site, is you click on the domain. I'll go to, uh, let's go to androidyoutube.com. I haven't set anything up on there. We're going to go to DNS and name servers. And then we're going to do, or sorry, we're going to go to DNS records. From here, you'll see the tone then says, hey, you need to add what's called a CNAME record with the host name music and it points to fanlink.2. So we're gonna go back to a domain, add a DNS record, type is gonna be CNAME, content is gonna be fanlink2, and the hosts or name is just gonna be uh, music. And you see the language here is a little bit different, um, but that's all we do. And then I usually make this a half an hour. What I believe is that the faster you make this, the faster it'll update, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna click add DNS and it's gonna put it put it there and this should this should work. And one site that's very useful for this stuff is uh, whatsmydns.net. So I can go to music.andrewonyoutube.com. By the way, this domain doesn't actually go anywhere. I'm, I'm gonna make it go to my YouTube channel, but I just never set it up. Uh, you can see right now it points to fanlink.2. So at this point I can probably go back to tone done. And it says not configured, but I bet if I click refresh, still not configured. Oh, it's because I did Andrew Southworth. I didn't do on, uh, Andrew on YouTube. So let's do um, music.andrewonyoutube.com. Next, done, configured. So <laughs> you know it's literally that simple. And from this point, we can actually use this. Let me remove this before I forget. Um, I can go to campaigns and I can go to smart links, create a new link campaign. I'll just edit one of these existing ones for the sake of time. I can go down to modify link URL. Now in here, I can just click this. Instead of using any of these pre-existing options, I can use one of my custom setup domains. And now that I'm using my domain, I can really make this whatever I want. I can just call this like chains if I wanted to, you know, because it's, it's much less likely, in fact, it's impossible that someone else is gonna be using this 
URL. So if I wanted to do change, it would now be music.andrewonyoutube.com slash change instead of that fan link dot two slash some random gibberish of numbers. Um, and this is kind of how it's going to work for every landing page service. You're going to have your own website that you buy. You don't actually need a physical website. There is no Andrew on YouTube.com. Apparently I did upload something to Andrew on YouTube.com, but this is because I have a hosting site. And so I, I think it's just grabbing some random files from somewhere else in the server. This is an old website I made, but there doesn't have to be anything here. It'll just say like this link doesn't exist or, or whatever. Um, and that's fine. You just need the domain and you just need to set up this routing and then you can use uh, Tone Den right now or Hyped It or, or Feature FM or whatever when those other services add it. But you're not done at that point. This will get you most of the way. What we need to do now is go back to Facebook and actually uh, set up our domain. Now, for the domain verification process, we're going to click this gear down here to go into our business settings. You have to go down to what I believe is brand safety and domains. And then here, we're just going to add a domain. So we're going to type in whatever domain we want. And then what it's going to do is it's just going to pop up um, over here. Yeah, it's going to pop up something like this. You know, it's going to say verification pending. It's going to give you some options, either DNS verification, HTML file upload, or meta tag verification. If you can edit, like if you have a real website, you can upload files to or edit the HTML. One of these options uh, is perfectly fine to do. You'll copy this code into your actual code or the HTML file. You'll upload this into the root directory. But if you're doing DNS, we're essentially what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, go over to domain.com, and on our... Um, go back to my domains, I could go to andronyoutube.com. I could go to DNS and name servers, DNS records. We need to add a text record. The content is going to be that thing that Facebook gave us. And it, they say to put at in the host field, otherwise known as the name field, for already half an hour. And then you just click add DNS. I'm not going to do this because I don't want, want this domain verified. And then like, you know, 30 minutes later or so, you can look up that DNS. It should work. And then what will happen is uh, Facebook will just basically say it's verified and it'll work. Now, again, you're not done yet. <laughs> there is another step, it's kind of a pain, um, but this is how things are gonna be. So at that point, you'll head on over to your events manager. And there's this new thing called aggregated events management or measurement, aggregated events measurement. I don't know, it's got a long name. Um, but what we have to do is we have to actually essentially turn on certain events for each domain. So aggregated event measurement. Um, we're going to do configure web events. And so since I hooked up um, generastudios.com, I did td.generastudios.com, I have to edit the events and select what events I want available for my domain. With iOS 14, you can only have eight events. And the last event that occurs, or whatever you mark as highest priority, will be the only event that gets tracked. So you can't track like all these events leading up in the way. It'll just count the highest priority one. So since I know that I'm going to be using Tone Down, and I need to optimize for view content, I added view content as the highest priority here. Now, what's going to happen is, since this is for my whole domain, generastudios.com, I'm going to need to have purchase conversions because I sell like products on my website. So I'll have to add a purchase one. I'll just uh, go over to the right. For some reason, this page doesn't expand. But over here, I promise you, there's an add event button. And then I can click this pixel. And I could choose purchase and I could add it. There's even a value optimization thing. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but then you add that other event and you set the priority. Obviously, I would want purchases to have a higher priority than um, view content. But for you, you'll probably just have whatever landing page service you have will have the highest priority. So at this point, you've, you've got a domain. You've hooked it up to Toneden. You've linked up to DNS. You've verified it on Facebook. You've set up the events. And now you can use that domain in any of your website conversion ads and the pixels will track fine. Remember, right now, you don't need to do anything. But it's believed that in like a month or so is when this thing's going to finally become like a hard rule. If you don't do this stuff by then, you can't use conversion campaigns. So like, I'd recommend trying to do this now. So if you have any questions, you can just drop them in the comments or book a consultation call with me if you want um, to figure it out. You know, and I'm going to have more videos on this as things roll out when hyped it. Um, the new process comes out, I'll make a video on that. When hyperfollow comes, I'm, like, I'm going to cover all the landing page services that I personally uh, have at the moment. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great. I'm glad that all the services are jumping on it. And um, I have a bunch more content around this um, in the next few weeks. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.